Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We are delighted to have so many people joining us today. And I believe that there are probably nearly 500 people who are watching this virtual groundbreaking event. And we are so proud to share this moment with all of you, our friends, our partners, our colleagues, our community. That's right. Come on, we can put our hands together. This is an exciting time that we are here, and we're so thankful to be able to be here. We want to thank you for taking time out of your day to celebrate the beginning of this absolutely amazing transformation taking place here in our South Ward, a tangible, visible investment in our community. Before we begin, let us take a moment to reflect on the hard work, dedication, and sacrifices that have been made to get us to this point. This has been a challenging year, but you know what? We have moved forward and it's gotten to this point. And after many challenges, we absolutely move forward. And now we here, we stand in the midst of this momentous occasion. And therefore, I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time out of your schedule to help us celebrate and usher in this new era. Now, without further ado, it is truly my pleasure to be able to present none other than our president and CEO, Mr. Daryl K. Terry, Sr. Thank you, Marilyn. Good afternoon. I am Daryl Terry, president and CEO of Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Children's Hospital of New Jersey. I'm truly honored to lead the Beth at this time. I was born at the Beth, as were Mark, Barry, and the mayor. I also met my wife at the Beth. My two youngest kids were born at the Beth, and my granddaughter was recently born at the Beth. I grew up less than a mile from here. I attended Brugor Avenue School until Route 78 was built. And I remember as a child walking down Lyons Avenue on my way to Weequake Park and looking at this big building and looked at it sort of like a fortress. Did not know all the great things that were occurring on the inside. At the time, the Beth was home to iconic physicians like Dr. Victor Parsonette, Dr. Don Bree, and Freddie Cohen. Later, the likes of Trevor Athwilly, Adam Copeland, Omar Bay, Alice Cohen, Mark Cohen, Asa Cruz, and my good friend, Dean Rice, will carry the torch, continuing to provide excellent care to our community. It was during this time, the Dean Rice era, we like to call it, that the Beth, under the leadership of Lester Bornstein and Alma Beatty, started to interact with the community, starting programs like the the Black History Month and Alma Beatty Health Fair. It's been more than 20 years since we started those programs and they continue to this day and are stronger than ever. That is why today's groundbreaking is so significant. Today we'll begin to match the external appearance with our great internal accomplishments. It is important to recognize those who paved the way for us to be here today. People like Alma Beatty, Lester Bornstein, Lester Lieberman, City Council President Don Bradley and Mayor Sharp James, and city, current City Council President Mildred Crump. I would also like to applaud today's leaders whose visionary leadership and commitment to the Beth and this community has made this project a reality. I am excited for what this means for our community our employees and our physicians. We are hopeful that this $100 million investment will be the spark that encourages even more investment in the South Ward. We are also going to invest wisely, making sure that this project positively impacts not only the hospital, but also the local and minority owned businesses. This will be an inclusive project in the great South Ward. Each of the leaders beside me have all contributed in making this transformation come true. They all believe that the Beth and its community were investment worthy. I cannot thank the mayor of this great city enough for his courageous and effective leadership. He is truly a visionary, 
This phase one construction is not the end, but the beginning of imagining the new Newark Beth Israel Medical Center. From our founding in 1901 to when we first opened our doors on Lyons Avenue in 1928, Newark Beth Israel Medical Center has been delivering world-class care, creating nationally ranked programs, and serving the people of the South Ward and beyond. Newark Beth Israel is an anchor in the city of Newark, and their commitment is as strong today as it was all those years ago. Now more than ever, we are ready to expand. The hospital needs expansion. We need a bigger emergency room. We need a better lobby. We need some interactive space where the community could come in and have community meetings. And so, as well as clinical improvement, I believe the expansion of the hospital at this time will be beneficial for the constituent interaction with the hospital. For years I've been driving down Lyons Avenue and I see the brick walls, I see the building, and it just doesn't say who we are. Now we're gonna have this brand new building with glass transparency. People are gonna come in and they're gonna see the new lobby. They're gonna see easy to read uh, signs that tells them where their destination is. And all of a sudden they're gonna feel like, wow, this is where I wanna be. The uh, significant amount of glass which really brings the inside outside and the outside inside which is a very uh, important element to what we're doing um, breaking down the barriers breaking down the walls uh, the vision is to be on the streets again I grew up not far from Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Newark Beth Israel has always been sort of in, a, in the community sort of and somewhat of an island and you, you didn't feel as connected as you should have felt. And I think this project is, will really connect North Beth Israel with the community in a very meaningful way. This investment expands our clinical programs, makes it more accessible to the residents of Newark, and indeed supports our clinicians and frontline healthcare providers. It is a wonderful way to acknowledge both the needs of those who live in Newark and frankly, to further acknowledge the support throughout the years. We're proud to be a part of Newark Beth Israel Medical Center in Children's Hospital, New Jersey. We're proud to work for a place that cares about us, and we're so excited to be able to see what's going to be taking place. This transformation will really change at Lions Avenue, uh, whether they're coming across Osborne Terrace, coming up or down Lions, uh, you will not be able to miss uh, this great glass facade or this glass entryway into Newark Beth Israel Medical Facility. The redevelopment in that area, I think is, uh, you know, a long time coming. It's a major uh, first step to the things that we want to do in that community. And, and so it means to me, re-envisioning that community the way it was when I was coming up as a kid. More than 100 years delivering world-class care to our patients and a unique experience that speaks for itself. And here at Beth Israel, uh, the team the diagnostics right from day one were extensive. Um, everything was done in a fashion that I felt confident. I knew I was in the right place. I was proud to be with the team. We had an amazing experience here. For anyone to come into a NICU and be welcomed with open arms by every single person on the staff in this hospital was amazing. <laughs> this for me is my um, comfort uh, place. It's my safe haven because I know you are well taken care of here. You're not a patient, but you are a member of the Newark Beth Israel family. This is certainly a milestone for the Beth and for our entire community. I'd like to invite my colleagues to make a few brief remarks about the significance of this moment, starting with Barry Ostrowski, followed by Mark Burson, Frank Giatomasi, and then Mayor Baraka. After their remarks, we will officially break ground and then hear from some of our friends who couldn't be with us today. Good afternoon, everyone. What an exciting and glamorous day. As you heard, I was born at the Beth. In fact, my safety post was at Lehigh Avenue and Osborne Terrace, 
and not one school child got hurt while I was there in my safety post. And I would walk through the Beth to Maple Avenue school. So this is my neighborhood. This is our neighborhood. I think what's so terrific about this is this is an institution that is not only internationally renowned, but is in fact and has always been committed to ensure the best health for the community surrounding it. This new edifice that we're building, which is phase one of a complete redevelopment plan for both the institution and the neighborhood, is exciting for everyone. I want to pay special homage to those who work at this institution. Many of us here come, at least I do occasionally, but we have thousands of people who have dedicated their lives day in and day out, pandemic or not, to care for all those who come here. And you already heard the testimony of those who have been treated at this institution by this great staff. And finally, we are building that which this staff truly deserves, the kind of institution that will continue the legacy that Newark Beth and the Children's Hospital began generations ago. Daryl, I wanna congratulate you for your incredible leadership of this institution and to my board chair, Mark Burson, and this institution's board chair, Frank John Tomasi, thank you for your support and we appreciate that which is happening today. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. What an exciting, exciting time. This has especially deep meaning for me not only remembering, not when I was born here, but remembering as a young person being uh, at this facility, passing it on a daily basis, but thinking about the period that I've served uh, on the board of this hospital and the dreams, the dreams of a building like this, of changes like this, the proper recognition for all of those who work here, it, it is a team. Everything has been a team effort. It's one of the uniquenesses of the facility. And one of the things, it's not just about the glass, the bringing the outside in and the inside out, but it's also recognizing the scale and size. This is a campus. It's not a single building and it's only a beginning. And so with that, I congratulate all of the team uh, for the great job recently done and always done here and thank all of you for attending and for uh, helping us celebrate and recognizing the accomplishments of this institution. Welcome to the begin new beginning. Very, very brief, briefly, uh, Frank John Tomasi, I serve as uh, the assistant to Mark Burson, who is the chair emeritus of Beth Israel. What we're doing here today was really driven by uh, his vision together with Barry and with Daryl to do what is the right thing for the citizens of Newark and the community that comes here for their health care and what health care they receive. When I was first asked to uh, participate in the board by Barry, and by Mark, I was honored and I was humbled. And I thought it was a philanthropic venture that I would enjoy. I never knew what awe I would come to feel in participating with the openness of the doctors and the nurses and the staff that's here and to witness their care and devotion to the people that need our services. So it's with great pride and again, with great humbleness that I stand here with these giants of uh, healthcare administration and giants of medical professions and of course the government officials that are here because in New Jersey anything you want to do in business has to intersect with government and if you don't intersect properly it's like an uncontrolled intersection there's a crash but when you have a cooperative government that works with you that intersection can be traversed safely and successfully and that's why I now take the moment to introduce to you a friend of all the citizens of Newark, 
I too am born, but not in the Beth. I'm born and raised in Newark, so it makes me proud that this is a hospital addition that's being built by Newarkers, real Newarkers, people that kept on keeping on during the good times and the bad. And I bring you now our great mayor, my friend, and a true son of Newark, Raj Barak. So first, I just want to thank the staff here at Newark Beth Israel, the doctors, the nurses, attendants, everybody that work every day, particularly during this pandemic. Uh, I think it is appropriate to say thank you for the work that you're doing uh, day in and day out to make sure that Newarkers and the people around here stay safe. Uh, we deeply appreciate it uh, at City Hall and around the corner. Uh, you know, want to thank obviously the, the folks that are here, Daryl Terry, for his work here at this hospital. Uh, Barry Ostrowski, who I think is a great leader uh, of not only of the, the, the medical community here, but also a great leader in helping us envision uh, the things that should happen here in the city of Newark. Obviously, Frank and Mark and, uh, and the councilman over there who, you know, tirelessly fights to make sure the South Ward is uh, what it needs to be. This is my neighborhood. Actually, I live here like now. <laughs> uh, this is a couple of miles from my home. Uh, you know, I, I come up and down Bergen, Lyons uh, regularly. I come in and out of this hospital regularly. My family uses this hospital regularly. This is my community, my neighborhood. And so I have selfish reasons for wanting to see Beth Israel do well uh, because it is the hospital, the medical center of this neighborhood. I want it to do well. I want it to do well for the South Ward and I want it to do well for the entire city of Newark and its region. But most importantly, what people uh, have to understand that this project, or Beth Israel, is an anchor in our community. They just don't provide medical care, they provide jobs, they deal with the social determinants of health in this community, whether it's food and housing and other kind of issues that they're working on. We look at Beth Israel as a partner, Children's Hospital of New Jersey, RWJ Barnabas, as a partner here in Newark to help us re envision Lions Avenue to help us with Bergen Street. And we think that all of those things together will make the hospital better, will make our community better. I can't wait to drive down here and see the glass here. It's gonna be amazing. And as was said earlier, it's gonna inspire other people to come and cast their buckets down here in the city of Newark and help us to grow and expand and make Newark into the place I know it can be. And the South Ward bring back the glory uh, that it once had in this neighborhood and this community specifically. So I'm excited and all I can say is thank you. I can't wait uh, to see the construction going on. I can't wait to be back here for the ribbon cutting. I like the, I like the groundbreaking, but the ribbon cuttings are better. So I can't wait to be back here for that. So God bless you. You always have a partner in me here in the city of Newark. Uh, keep up the awesome work. Thank you. The Valerie Fund is proud to be a partner with Newark Beth Israel Medical Center. Congratulations on making a great hospital even better. Congratulations to Mr. Darrell Terry and the entire North Beth Israel family on this outstanding achievement. This renovation is clearly a reflection of your heart. Thank you for loving on and investing in our community again. You're the best. Congratulations, Beth Israel. Looking forward to the future. Hello, I'm Assemblywoman Speed. I want to give a heartfelt congratulations on the expansion of Newark Beth Israel. Thank you for always continuing to care for our community. From the Department of Surgery and Wound Care Center, congratulations! Congratulations, Daryl, to you and your entire team at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center. You impact so many lives each and every day, and we are so delighted 
to cheer you all on for this monumental virtual groundbreaking ceremony. We wish you only continued success in all that you do. Hi, this is Congressman Donald Payne Jr. from New Jersey 10th Congressional District. I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate North Beth Israel Hospital and Children's Hospital of New Jersey for the expansion on Lines Avenue of their facilities. This would be a great opportunity once again for the community to benefit from the great quality health care done at this facility. As a matter of fact, I was born there over 60 years ago. So once again, congratulations to Newark Beth, continued success, and we're looking forward to the new facilities. On behalf of the members of the Newark Regional Business Partnership, congratulations on today's groundbreaking and heartfelt thanks for all the Beth team does to improve the Newark community's well-being. I can't wait to see the final construction and the new lobby. Good luck. Congratulations to our North Beth Israel family on the groundbreaking of a premier facility that will take care of our greatest asset, our New Jersey children. Congratulations to you all. Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Clark of Newark Community Health Centers. On behalf of our 50,000 patients, I wish to congratulate Newark Beth Israel Children's Hospital for creating an amazing healthcare facility. Congratulations, Newark Beth Israel and the Children's Hospital of New Jersey for this extraordinary expansion of your footprint in Newark, New Jersey. I am thrilled because I know already the power, the strength, the import of Beth Israel. I love when I travel around the country and I have people coming up to me, Newark's diaspora, talking about being born at Beth Israel. I know the economic strength that you give to our community. I know truly the life-saving work uh, that you all do. I'm so excited about the future of Beth Israel and this incredible step uh, forward. I wish you all the best and thank you. Thank you, Daryl, Mark Burson, Barry Ostrowski for all your support of the Beth. Congratulations. Yay, Beth, congratulations. Congratulations, Beth. Best wishes to Barry Ostrowski and the RWJ Barnabas. The planned expansion of the Beth Israel further displays your continued commitment to the health of our community. Good luck. From all of us here at the Healthcare Foundation, I want to say congratulations and best of luck with this great expansion. We are so proud to be associated with the Beth for our long history together and from all that you, for all that you do. Congratulations. Daryl, on behalf of University Behavioral Healthcare and University Correctional Healthcare, we wanted to say Congratulations. 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 Take care. Well, congratulations, North Beth. Overseer Brian Ali here, joining them chorus of voices that are wishing you well on this new project. I look forward to the finished product. Congratulations. Congratulations, North Beth Israel Medical Center on the expansion of your facility. I look forward to these 50 years. I was here 50 years ago, and I look forward to the future. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Newark Beth Israel Medical Center on our construction. You can never have enough greens and green space for our community. Congratulations, Newark Beth Israel for the new construction. Yay! Congratulations. Well deserved. It is an honor to extend to you congratulations in this historic moment in the life of this great institution. From your rehab family, we want to say... Congratulations, Newark Beth Israel! Congratulations, Newark Beth! Congratulations to the North Beth Israel Hospital on the groundbreaking of your new facility. Continue to do the great work in the South Wall. Beth Israel. And I would like to extend my congratulations and best wishes to Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and the greater Newark community on this most exciting occasion. Hi, this is Mayor Tony Voss from the Township of Irvington. I would like to wish Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and the Children's Hospital a very huge congratulations on your new 17,000 square foot emergency room. Keep up the good work. God bless you. Congratulations to the Beth family on this renovation project on behalf of the Division of Cardiology, CAD Lab, and all cardiac services. Congratulations, NBI! Congratulations! Congratulations, NBI, on the groundbreaking. Looking forward to the future. Congratulations, NBI! 
Congratulations, North Beth Israel Medical Center and RWJ System on your official groundbreaking ceremony. Congratulations, NBI, on the groundbreaking. Elbor Transplant, congratulations on the groundbreaking. Congratulations to MBI for the tremendous work that you're doing to expand services to support our communities. Thank you. The Department of Surgery would like to congratulate Newark Beth Israel on their upcoming renovation project. The new hybrid room is going to be beautiful and it'll be used by us all. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Department of Medicine, Dr. Cohen and I would like to congratulate Newark Beth Israel on the momentous groundbreaking. Yeah, congratulations. Go team! Congratulations! Congratulations! Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations.